If you're revising for your maths exam, do not make this mistake in your revision. I see students make it all the time, but don't worry, I'm here to make sure you do not fall into that trap. If you don't know me, my name's Tilly, I've got a 9 in GCSE maths, I've got an A star in A level maths, both at nearly 100%, and this is what I did differently to my classmates. The thing with maths is that a lot of people spend a lot of time just redoing things that they're comfortable with. So they might be like, okay, I'm gonna do this two hour long practice paper today, knowing full well that they're really happy with what's about to come up. Look, if you're aiming for that top grade, I was doing these practice papers, I was getting like 91, 92%. This is great to identify what I needed to work on. And this is definitely what you should be doing to identify your weaker areas and do that space repetition of other topics. But I think you know, what you're weakest on. I knew that I was weakest on mechanics. I knew that I didn't like doing integration by parts and that if it came up I'd have a go but it may not have been my strongest topic. Why would you waste time doing those really simple questions, those basically time consuming questions as well, when you know you're happy with it? You need to dedicate more time to your weaker areas and look I know if you're aiming for those top grades you know what your weak areas are and it's so frustrating and this is where people trip off. They don't want to do it. Do you think I wanted to do it? Do you know how many times I cried? But use those resources. Don't just sit there and look at your paper and struggle. Go to your teacher, go onto YouTube, go online and find some online resources to help you understand this topic. And if you stick at it, you will get it in the end. Key takeaway from this video, go and work on your weakest area and follow for more daily study tips.